Hello, we are here at Isha Foundation's model farm and we are going to give you insights on natural farming which is being done here. Actually, this is a model form we are created for the farmers. Uh, here, many models we are creating. Um, here, uh, initially, uh, we uh, request the farmer to transfer from the chemical farming to natural farming. And they have to sow the different varieties of uh, species, nearly 24, 21 varieties of species in closed manner. That is a mixer of uh, pulses, uh, millets, and then oil seeds, and then uh, legumen seeds. Like that is a mixture of uh, the crop they have to sow on the land. After sowing, uh, it has to uh, start grow for a period of three to six, uh, four months of period. Then at the time, it's uh, all it gets um, sprouted and everything is gone. So, and all it gets when the flowering stage of the each plant is gone, uh, it attends the uh, flowering stage. Then they have to uh, rotate it back, put it back to the soil. So all the residue contents which are initially made by the chemicals will be reduced. This is a simple technique uh, to come from out of uh, chemical farming to natural farming. Uh, also the organic uh, content which are on the plants will be put it on the soil. So uh, then we have to increase the microbial population. Yes. We give the jiva mardam to the soil. So the jiva mardam, the, all the microbes uh, there is a ready-made food is there available because uh, all the crops which are uh, we chopped back to the soil this is the food for the microbes okay. so the microbes gets developed on the soil then uh, and then they can do any type of uh, uh, crops on this land this is the way we are uh, convincing the people to transact from the chemical farming to natural farming okay. so now uh, this is a bhindi lady's finger yeah okra and uh, when i plant it at my home it gets infested with mealybugs a lot yeah so what can we do okay for that actually uh, if you look around uh, usually we will plant uh, the border crop that is uh, the maize will be there if you look so, okay there's maize at the corner yeah at the corner and it's the border crop okay. it's, uh, this will the indicator of the all the insects all the pests which is coming to the our main crop Okay. Also, we will plant the yellow covered, uh, flowering plants here okay. and there. Okay. Uh, so, all the yellow color flowering plants which attracts the uh, wasp. Okay. So, all the wasps will control the yeah everything. Okay. This is the uh, biodiversity in nature. You said uh, yellow colored flowers. Yeah, yellow color flowers. So, what do you use? Uh, in Tamil only, I know that is. Uh, Very gold. Yeah, marigold. Gender. Yeah, marigold. I saw cosmos also outside. Okay. Cosmos, orange cosmos. Uh, yeah, orange cosmos will be there. Yeah. Okay. Marigold and uh, cosmos will be mixture of this. Okay. So yellow flowers. They yellow flowers. Yeah, yellow flowers. flowers. Even this uh, this flower will Sun attract. Sunflower also them. attracts. Yeah, attracts. Of All of the bees. yellow coloring flower will attract the oh, things. Bees. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Not only bees. That is a vast. Mexican sunflower also. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. But it will be. Uh, it will grow wild. So we can't control manner. So uh, not only this, we can uh, even use that. Um, uh, mustard. Ah, mustard oil. Mustard. mustard seed we can put. So yeah. yeah. Hmm. That will. When it flowers. Yeah, it flowers also yellow color. Yeah. So it will attract. <laughs> wow, Allah. So also we will uh, plant the cowpea. Cowpea. Yeah. Which will, which will attack uh, more pest, initially it will uh, have more pest, then for, for uh, eating the pest, the ladybugs will come. Okay. The yes. ladybugs will, uh, once it get uh, developed in the, in the border crop, yes. then it will spread all over the uh, part and then it will control the, our uh, main crops. Yes. Then we will give the regular uh, 3G. Uh, many uh, pest, pest uh, implants are there. Repellents. Repellent. 3G yeah. Repellent. Yeah. There 3G is, is, uh, 3G is garlic, garlic, ginger, and uh, chili. Chili. Okay. Yes. Uh, I see sun hemp behind uh, you. Okay. So is yeah. that sun hemp? Yeah, this is uh, sun hemp. Could you please uh, let me know? Uh, yeah, its benefits? this is. 
This is the, initially I said no, the, it's a mixture of uh, 21 varieties. This is the one model. Okay. So we have to grow this, this much height. Okay. So it, it will uh, fix the uh, nitrogen content on the soil. Okay. So the uh, ready-made nitrogen is, uh, uh, came to the soil. Then we chopped back and then put it to the soil. So, okay, so we chop the sunhem back and we put it yeah, in the soil. Yeah. We use it as mulch? Yeah, it's a mulch. Okay. These all are mulch actually. If uh, uh, there is a mixture of crop actually, okay. not only sun. Okay. Uh, it's a mixture of three to four varieties minimum. Okay. Um, uh, there is mice. Uh, uh, sorghum will be there. Sorghum. Will yeah, be there. sorghum okay. will be there, and uh, many uh, crops, millets, uh, millets also yeah. there. Okay. So uh, then we uh, after the chopped and put it back to the soil, okay. we give the jiva maradam. So the microbes gets the ready-made food there. Okay. So the microbe population gets developed over the soil. Okay. Also, the, we already fix the nitrogen on the soil. Huh. This is the carbon content. Huh. So the uh, natural and uh, CN ratio will be managed. Okay. This is sorghum. And behind that we have some sun hemp. Initially, this will attract the most mealybugs. Then, for uh, eating those mealybugs, uh, the ladybugs will come. The ladybugs gets developed over here. You know, look at here. For eating these, first attack the, this type of crop. These are the border crops. So and the main crop is uh, protected so this from has, this. Yeah, uh, yeah, infested. yeah, yeah. So for uh, eating those uh, those mm. insects, uh, ladybugs will come. Mm. Look, this is. Uh, uh, you call this cowpea? Yeah. What do you want to do? Yeah. This is the ladybug one stage. Okay. So it gets developed mm -hmm. and then it will. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I get it. Yeah. Check. This is a caterpillar stage, so it will start develop and then it will. Yeah. Hmm. It will go. Glacidia. This will uh, um, uh, placed on the border crop, which uh, for multi-purpose. We just uh, for a mulching purpose we can use this one. Okay. Also, uh, if we practice the, to feed to the cow, the cows also get it. Okay. But it needs a, a proper feeding procedure. Okay. Then only. Also, it will controls the wind because here wind is uh, much. Mm -hmm. So we place it in a close uh, in. If you go there, we will place nearby, hmm, close to matter. So it will stop the wind also. Yes, it's like a windbreaker. Windbreaker. Yeah. Also, uh, this will control the uh, chemicals which is uh, so putting on the ne next field. Suppose it is uh, our field is uh, uh, natural farming. Yes. Uh, we are nearby the chemical farming hmm. farm. Hmm. So we have to protect the, those chemicals to uh, from our land. Hmm. So we we can place this plant in closed manner so all the uh, chemicals which are spraying from that uh, it won't uh, come into our field okay, okay. if you look around uh, we are uh, placed a border crops of glaricidia mm -hmm. uh, which prevent from the winds also if a uh, neighbor farming are uh, using the chemicals Thanks. which are uh, which are stopped by these border crops uh, also the pests uh, coming from outside will be stopped from this uh, also, we used these uh, leaves as a mulch. We okay. just uh, chopped and then put it on the soil. So, as a mulch, it can be used. So, this is a castor oil tree. Yeah. And these are the seeds. Some seeds. Um, here it is. And this is not a fully grown one. But okay. That's how the castor oil tree looks like. Yeah. And it's used as a border crop. Yeah, it's used as a border crop. Also, it's, uh, for, since we are using as a border crop, it will protect all the uh, pests yes. to uh, enter into our uh, in the main in the, in the farm. Yes. Yeah. Any leaves we can use for the mulching and all. Okay. So we created here this uh, lemongrass. Also, vetiver uh, in English, na? Another plant is called uh, uh, similar to this uh, grass type of uh, growing thing. That is uh, in Tamil, it's called the vetiver. Uh, vetiver, Hanji. Uh, vetiver. Yeah. yeah, you know that. Uh. You use that as a mulch too? Yeah. The leaves we can cut, cut and put on. And the roots mulch. are used. Uh, vetiver uh, roots are used. Used for, yeah. Hanji, uh, khas roots are actually yeah. used. Yeah.
Okay. So they are very popular nowadays. Okay. So yeah. We can use uh, all the greens which are growing in our field. We can use for say mulch. For mulch. Uh, so uh, here we are using this lemongrass also as a mulch, and then vetiver also as a mulch. Uh, we we just uh, cut the leaves and then put it on the soil. Okay. So it covers the land. Okay. Yeah. Is the produce in um, a natural farm lesser as compared to a farm which has chemicals no, being sprayed on it? Uh, initially, it looks like that. Hmm. But uh, if, uh, if, uh, if one farmer gets transacted from the uh, chemical farm to natural farming, uh, initially he will feel that is, uh, the yield is less. Gee. But after uh, one or two years uh, later, hmm. then even if you put a chemical farming, we is keep on uh, increasing the inputs of the all the fertilizers and everything which is uh, brought from outside uh, and then uh, from one acre let's say in one acre you can uh, harvest uh, up to one ton Jeez. or then uh, after two years of period uh, while he is doing a uh, natural farming uh, in the same land he can uh, capable of uh, get a yield of uh, uh, more than one ton more, okay. Yeah, uh, and also you need not to put the uh, all the inputs that is uh, even jivamardam and everything is not necessary after five or six years or okay. later. And so and the all the inputs Chief. gets reduced and Chief. the yield get increased. I wanted to know uh, when do you use jivamardam in your fields? At what time of? Uh, yeah, this is a weekly once uh, depends upon the crop. Uh, what type of crop we are using? Uh, now, um, after uh, seed sowing process, uh, minimum seven, up to seven, after the seventh day or eighth day, we will give Jeeva And then, uh, uh, 15, uh, 15th day of the plant, we again give by spray or... So, can a small seedling be given Jeeva Yeah, is yeah, that okay? yeah, yeah. Okay. We can, uh, the, there is many method of uh, uh, giving Jeeva uh, to this. And that is, uh, we can give, irrigate through, uh, through the water. Okay. Uh, or you can uh, make a ganajiva mardam and then uh, put it on the soil directly. Okay. Uh, then another method is by spray. By spray. Okay. Here is a mixture of papaya and uh, drumsticks are there. Okay. Uh, initially, we planted uh, the turmeric on the ground. Okay. After three to four months of period, we uh, placed this uh, papaya and uh, alternate rows and lines we papaya and drumstick like that we start cultivated okay. uh, after harvest now uh, one year later the we harvested all the uh, turmeric turmeric, turmeric. now the this field is entirely of uh, papaya and drumstick now so this drumstick yeah and then now what is this this is uh, turkey berry turkey berry yeah what is it used for? It's used for uh, uh, even in sambar we can put it and then uh, mix with uh, buttermilk and then uh, dry it in the sunlight Achha. and then we can fry it after a few days we can fry and eat. So this, this is uh, edible? Yeah, edible. Okay. Vegetables we are planning to grow. Okay, yeah. So multi cropping, okay. Ma multi vegetables. Multi veggies, okay. That is a uh, different uh, varieties we are planning to do. Um, this is uh, uh, once we have to develop this. After that, you know, no need of uh, tilling again and again. Okay, so this, this is, is a no till no -till, no -till, no -till farm. farming. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for uh, uh, we never till for a past uh, uh, one year, one two years. Okay. Because uh, we use all the mulch, we, we grow all the uh, greens over here. The initially I said no, uh, all the 21 varieties that is mixture of oil seeds and pulses and mm. then legumes seeds yeah. and then uh, uh, millets. Millets, uh, It's a mixture of all the, uh, in each variety. Uh, the minimum of four variety has to be mixed okay. up and then so and then put it back on soil. Then after uh, growing that one. We just chopped and then uh, put on the rice beds. Okay. We cover with the rice beds with those uh, uh, residues. So uh, it, the mulch as a mulch. Hmm. All the uh, then we give the jiva and uh, hmm. everything. So the microbial population gets increased. Hmm. Uh, once it is set, um, 
the soil become more porous and everything also enrich with the, all the nutrition okay so uh, there is no need of uh, tilling again and again the soil okay. once also we keep this uh, uh, tree grown here because the tree roots are uh, capable of uh, having the fungal content in the soil okay. so the fungal and bacteria ratio will be maintained in the soil so the weeds gets automatically controlled by natural way okay this is spinach we are growing in this manner uh, if you uh, see we raise the bed of uh, uh, of the breadth of 3 uh, feet and the height of uh, of uh, uh, feet then we sow the seeds and then we initially we are the rain is coming so we cover the uh, after sowing the seeds we cover with the green net shed net after covering that uh, for the 2 to 3 days then we slowly remove the green nets from the land then it uh, starts sprouting and then it will grow in this manner uh, also the irrigation here we are using is rain hose because uh, the greens the rain hose which uh, spreads the water at the top okay. so it uh, washes all the pest which uh, sits on the leaves so it controls the pest automatically controlled by Uh, method of irrigation itself so it's rain hose yeah rain hose okay